What's going on guys? Billy here with Billy Schultz Music, bringing you the easiest guitar tutorials on YouTube, and today we're learning how to play Title Track by Machine Gun Kelly. If you're new here, click that subscribe button and the notification bell, or else I'll uppercut your punk ass right in the chops. Also, I'm giving away a free brand new guitar, so if you want to find out how you can enter to win, stick around to the end of the video, but for now, let's jump into it. This is how you play it. Okay guys, so starting out with the intro of this song, it is played on an acoustic guitar, but you can play this same thing on an electric guitar, and we will get into the electric guitar part um, in the second half of this video, so stick around for that. But the beginning is on an electric guitar, and it is in standard tuning. I will have the guitar tab for this part in the video description, so if you need that, jump into the video description once you get done. It's there for you. Starting out with your index finger on the first fret of the G string, and your middle finger on the second fret of the D string. You're gonna be picking, your thumb is gonna be picking the low A, and it's just gonna continuously pick the low A while you alternate through the D and the G strings. You're starting out by picking the A and the D string, or A and the G string at the same time. Then your A again, and your D. A again, A and D at the same time and then hammer on with your pinky on the fourth fret of the D. So it looks like. Pick A again, and then D again. Then pick the A and the G at the same time again. And then pick A and D the same way you did uh, in the beginning. And then you're picking A twice. And then you're doing three on the G string with your ring finger. Pick A again. Back to, or uh, two on the G string, sorry. With your ring finger. Pick A. Back to one. Pick A again. So that looks like. So everything so far looks like Then jump down to your 7 7th fret with your middle finger on the A string And the 6th fret with your index finger on the D string So again, you're plucking the A string consistently with your thumb. A and D together. A, D, A. And then both together. Put your ring finger on the seventh fret of the D. Pluck them both together. Then pinky finger on the ninth fret of the D. Pluck them both together. Then go down to the 4th fret on the D string with your pinky finger and your index finger on the 2nd fret of the A string. And you're picking. So that's A and D together. A, D, A. A and D together. A, D, A. So together from the top, it looks like. So now that's, that's the first part of the riff. That plays the first time and the third time. The second time for this riff is almost the exact same. Except when you get here, 
you don't, you just pick this the same way that you were picking here. So that's just A and D together. And then A, D, A, A and D together, A, D, A. down to two on D with your middle finger and one on or two on A with your middle finger and one on D with your index finger and pick the exact same way so that looks like So all together, the very intro of the song looks like... to an F sharp minor chord, you're going to put your ring finger on the fourth fret of the A string, your pinky finger on the fourth fret of the D string, your index finger on the first fret of the, or on the second fret of the G string, and if you can, get your thumb on the second fret of the low E, if not, just mute it. Slide that down two frets to a G sharp minor, same formation. to an A major, which is middle finger on the 7th fret of the A, ring finger 7th uh, fret of the D, index finger 6th fret of the G, and then A minor, which is middle finger 2nd fret D, ring finger 2nd fret G, index finger 1st fret B, and that part looks like... So that strumming pattern is going to be down, down, up, down, up, 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 down, 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 up, down, up, 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 down, up, down, up, down, up, down, So I'm going to play the entire intro for you one time slowly all the way through so you can see what it looks like. Here it is. Okay guys, so once we get the intro part down, the rest of the song is pretty simple. It's just power chords mainly that play throughout the entire song. The main part of the song is a G power chord, a B flat power chord, or a, just a B power chord, E power chord, C power chord, and what you're doing there is index finger on the third fret of the E, ring finger fifth fret of the A, and pinky finger fifth fret of the D sliding that formation down to 799 
then dropping that down to 799 on the A, D, and G string, back to 355 on the A, D, and G string. And that strumming pattern is just down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up, up, down, up, down, down, up. And those little lead parts that happen there in the in the like verse, like right before the chorus happens, is t uh, ten on the B string and twelve on the B string. You're just alternating picking uh, eight times: one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight; one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight; one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight; one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And the harmony is. That's 11 and 12 on G. Now after the first chorus, you end on a C power chord, so it'll... You go from G to B, then to back to the C, and you're just two down strums before it starts into the verse. So it looks like. And then from there, you're palm muting. That's a C power chord. G and then D which is 5 on A and 7 on both D and G and your palm muting so it's 8 times on C 4 on G 4 on D and that plays 4 times so palm muting puts your fleshy part of your hand on the bridge of your guitar and you're just doing down picks and you're just picking the strings that your left hand is touching so it's going to give it kind of like a punchy muted sound again it's four times through eight counts on c and then four on g and d it looks like to an A power chord, which is the same as your D, you're just moving it down to the E, A, and D string on 5, 7, 7. Eight, eight palm mutes down, then to C for eight palm mutes. Back to A. And then just strum your C. And then it's going to jump right back into the chorus. So all together, going from the chorus into the verse, it looks like. All you need to know for the rest of the song is it's that same except you get to the part where they're doing the mutes and they're just down up and muting on uh, G, B, and E it looks like and just down up down up down up down up on the C
And then other than that, the very end of the song, you get that. And that's just, this is a C power chord here. It's 8, 10, 10. Down strum, go to B, down strum, go to A, down strum, go to G. And those muted power chords are only gonna happen twice, so it'll look like, I'll play the whole thing for you along with the ending so you can see what it looks like. It'll be. So on the very last time you're going the G, B, E, and then C, B, A, G. There you have it guys. I really hope that you enjoyed this tutorial. If you did, please click that like button. You can click here for how you can win a free guitar. You can click here for more tutorials, and we'll see you guys in the next video.